preparing for any musical, whether it's a review or not, is always a little different because the first couple of weeks are all about the music. You're in a room, sometimes not even with one another. Um, so there's a layering process that happens when you're doing musicals. But with something like this, especially the way Chad Henderson approaches it, um, it's very much an ensemble experience where everyone needs to be present to explore some of the creativity and possibilities of what can be birthed in that. So we spent a lot of time on the movement with this show because um, there was a sense we wanted it to be a theatrical experience more than a review. So um, a lot of time was spent on the movement immediately after the music was learned and even before the music was completely learned because the music and the movement are so inherently married to each other in this show. Uh, I am the daughter of a professional musician so my father would want me to say I'm a singer first and an actor second because maybe I've been, I don't know, maybe I've been acting just as long as I've been singing. Um, I would probably have to say an actor first and a singer second. This show invites people to come and share a common humanity uh, particularly that where we, when we are all at the threshold of a decision, either a decision that the world is making for us or a decision that we're making for ourselves. And I think everybody can relate to that. Shows I like going to are the ones with universal themes in them, and this is chock full of that. Some of them are moments when the ensemble's all on stage together. Kendrick Marion has a lot of wonderful solos, and some of the most charged moments I have as a performer on stage is when we're actually all side by side and together. Um, Sam McWhite has a song called Flying Home um, that gets a very strong reaction from the audience. The first time I saw it in rehearsal, even having heard it on the CD a couple of times, I, I was moved to tears. It's just a very powerful song. Um, as far as a solo goes, I think my favorite solo that I do is Surabaya Santa. Um, it's a, an interesting song about a, a, a woman whose marriage turned out to not be exactly what she thought it was going to be um, because it had a fantasy-like quality to it when she first entered into it. Um, and it's, uh, it, that, it's just a lot of fun. Uh, an actor can just go out there and just chew it up and have a good time. And that's why I like it. But I'd, I'd say my favorite moments in the show are when we're all together as an ensemble and sharing each other's energy. Um, we're very fortunate to have a lot of fantastic directors in town, and, and I feel very lucky to have good working relationships with many of them. But I've told Chad over and over again, I will follow you down any creative corridor you have the guts to walk me down because I, I trust his vision. I like how thorough he is. I like the creative process. At the end of the night, and especially on closing night, when our show evaporates and our product is gone, what we're left with is the process. And he makes the process incredibly engaging, fun, um, and educational for actors. And I think um, that's what makes the difference. So when he's done with a piece and we're then left in charge to go and take it out onto the stage every night, um, he makes us enjoy each other.